You have questions? Margaret Carey has the answers. We asked our listeners to send in pressing questions, or if they just needed some pearls of wisdom, then we would travel to Neverland to get them resolved. Now, here is Skywalking Through Neverland's official fairy godmother, Margaret Carey, in her new segment, Ask Tink. But Peter, how do we get to Neverland? Fly, of course. Think of all the joy you'll find when you leave the world behind. And bid your cares goodbye. Here we go. You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. You can fly. Welcome to Neverland. Hello, all you Skywalkers. This is Margaret Carey, the original reference model for Tinkerbell for Walt Disney. But now I am the official fairy godmother on Skywalking Through Neverland. Do you have a question that you would like to ask me about being Tinkerbell? Or are you just looking for advice or maybe a strong opinion? I've got those too. Well, we start today with a question from Ryan Pominville from the Midwest. He tweeted and asked, <laughs> Can you fly faster than Iron Man? No, I don't have to. I've never tried. Because, you see, Tinkerbell has an outlook on life. And if she wants to stop and smell the roses down there, she will zip down and smell them and then start in again. Although an Iron Man... He, he's on a, a quest. So he goes, like a guy, you know. I was married to a man who would get us in the car at 4 o'clock in the morning and drive us wherever we were going, and he would say, if the Grand Canyon is on your left, take a look at it as we drive by because we have to get this to this town at 6 o'clock. We must. You know, uh, <clears throat> hold anything that you want to stop. And then we would get to the town at 6 o'clock. We said, Whew, you know, we made it at 6 o'clock. Now what do we do? He said, anything you want to do, it's your time now. So you see, that's the difference between Iron Man and Tinkerbell. So the answer is no, but it's qualified. Wolf King 2010 on Twitter asks, what real world location on earth is most like Neverland? I know exactly the place. It's a fabulous place just outside Pasadena, and it's called Descanso Gardens. It's about 156 acres of the most beautiful camellias, and there are streams running down. There's a lovely house that you come upon that was, uh, it was owned by Manchester Bodie, who was the editor of a newspaper here in town. But he loved flowers, and the trees are gorgeous. And you have seen it on, on commercials. You've seen it in movies because they film there a lot. But when I go there for a long walk, which I do, I say, I'm at my never, never land. Thank you for that question. That was a good one. Christopher Novio called in and left a voice message. Did you work with Walt Disney when he was alive? And secondly, what was it like when you were modeling for Tink and Peter Pan? And did you get to see the end result of the animation? Well, I met Walt Disney several times and chatted with him, but I wasn't actually working with him because I was working with Mark Davis and Walt Disney came because he was working on something with Bud, Buddy Ebsen. He was so slim and so good looking and he was charming. <clears throat> I will tell you the story about modeling for Tinkerbell in Peter Pan and get to see the end results. Well, there were a lot of people in the studio that thought she was too curvy. Remember, they had had nothing but victim women. They would had Snow White. They'd had Sleeping Beauty. Everything happened to them. Well, here, Tink made things happen herself. And people were saying, this isn't going to work. So I was invited to the projection room up on the third floor in the animation building and I sat there and I hear all this mumbling around me and I'm just ready to do battle, of course. And it goes dark and up comes a, a pencil drawing that has been animated of Tink when she is in Peter's hat. She's been caught in the nursery so he can get the pixie dust. And I cried. I thought, oh, she's lovely. She's just, oh, yes, and that's me. 
And it was. And so, yes, they they brought me along so I could see so many of the things that were going on. Mark Davis was such a gentle man. And he was so appreciative of people who worked around him and so thoughtful that I got invited to many of the different things. So I want to thank you, Christopher, for those two questions. That's all the take time we have for today. I would like to thank Ryan Pominville. Wolf King 2010. I wonder how you get a social security number with a name like that. Anyway, and of course, I already said thank you, Christopher Novio, for sending their questions. And if you would like to have me spread some faith and trust and pixie dust, send your questions to share at skywalking through Neverland. Dot com. That's S H A R E at skywalking through Neverland.com. Bye now.